It's the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We welcome you as we welcome the Holy Spirit uh, to have His way in this place. Uh, good to see each and every one of you. If you're visiting this morning, thank you. Thank you for coming our way. It's good to see all of your sweet faces this morning uh, to worship the Lord. Amen. Just a couple quick announcements. Uh, we need to get out of the way so we can move on with our worship service. Um, we've got VBS that will come in Vacation Bible School. Uh, will be coming August the 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Uh, and the Vacation Bible School theme this year is Back to Eden. And we want all of our children and our young people to get excited about this. It's going to be on a Wednesday Thursday and Friday night. Mark it down on your calendars uh, August the 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Uh, we're excited about that and uh, the, some of the ladies are already getting things together. Uh, it's going to be an awesome, awesome time. Elizabeth? Meet down front for a short VBS meeting right after church. And if you want to get involved, you're welcome to come and be a part of that. Uh, also, I wanted to remind everyone uh, to continue to pray and think about um, viewing our Savior's Cross uh, broadcast uh, once a week uh, on Tuesdays. What we are attempting to do is uh, we are attempting to, to go out into the world and spread the gospel, but on the other hand, we're also giving our church family an opportunity uh, to have some time in God's Word um, other than once a week on Sunday. And um, this is pastor talking now. Um, Y'all, and I'm, the, the Lord can speak to whoever this is for. Uh, but beloved, we need to open our Bibles a little more than just when the preacher tells you to open the Word of God. And uh, we have Sunday school opportunities uh, we have Wednesday night opportunities. We have Sunday night opportunities. Uh, Sunday school is very, very, very important. It's an opportunity, and, and with all of the opportunities that we're offering during a week's time, uh, take advantage uh, of one of these to, to, to strengthen uh, your knowledge in the Word of God. The Word of God um, is what keeps us and, and what uh, guides us on our way and gives us strength. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, also, uh, our youth, um, I was just amazed this morning. I walked in there in the youth room. Brother said it was full again. Uh, it was full and praise the Lord. Uh, thankful for Brother Harold coming in and speaking to the children this morning. And Brother David, you want to speak about that for just a moment? That's all right, yes. I'm choking at the bed, I'm sorry. Uh, That's okay. But I'll tell you this, um, you know you're blessed when you stand up there and you've got, Brother Harold, thank you for coming. Today. Yes, we love Brother Harold. Thank you. Amen. Brother Harold, uh, how he presents the gospel is such a beautiful, uh, beautiful piece. We had Amen. six kids, Pastor. Now, these, these are the same kids that I've been teaching for a year in there now. Okay. We have six, had six kids that was not 100% sure they were going to heaven this morning. Praise the Lord. Now they, they are. Out of here, they walked into this room 100% sure they were going Amen. to heaven. And that's what the Holy Spirit can Praise do. Praise the Lord. And see, that just goes to show you, it lends to what you were talking about last Wednesday night about people coming in there and assisting and, and, and giving input. Because one new face could make all the difference That's in the true. world. Amen. So anyway, I just thank you, Brother Harold, for your efforts this morning. The Lord blessed it and used it. We had uh, 14 in there this morning. Wow, that's amazing. Let's give the Lord a hand. And um, some of you here quickly may not know Brother Harold Hooper. Brother Harold is a member of our church, but he is also a missionary. Uh, and Brother Harold goes all over the United States to the uh, state fairs and county fairs and sets up a, a witnessing table there. And uh, as the people that come into the fair, the, as the Lord leads and guides, and uh, I tell you what, if, if you walk by Brother Harold's table, you're going to make a choice. 
you're going to make a choice for Jesus or not. So we love you, Brother Harold, and we appreciate you so, so much. Um, also, um, we, we need to uh, get our T-shirt order put in. Uh, we have a lot of T-shirts ordered, but we have a little bitty amount of money turned in. So we, if, you, if you have ordered a T-shirt and you've written your name down for a T-shirt, you can mark that on your, um, on your offering or, or your tithe or your, the envelope, whatever the case may be, so we can get these T-shirts ordered. Okay, I got that uh, out of the way. Uh, Joyful Hearts. Thursday night, Joyful Hearts at 6.30 p.m. Hope to see you all here for that. Uh, also, uh, September 17th, I'm reaching on out there a little bit. September 17th on a Saturday night, Evangelist and Pastor Greg Locke will, will be here. How many of you have heard of Brett, uh, Greg Locke and maybe um, Brother Greg is very, very uh, outspoken. Uh, to put it mildly, uh, that's to put it mildly, um, he uh, uh, stands really strong for the gospel and stands up for uh, our country. Uh, he'll be here along with Aaron Butler. Uh, how many of you have ever heard of Aaron Butler? Amen. A couple of you have. I mean, a few of you have. Yep. Um, a Brother Aaron is uh, good friends with Sally and George. Um, they used to go to... Aaron's church, is that correct? Yeah, uh, at, at one particular time. And uh, Brother Aaron uh, is traveling all over the United States. Uh, he wrote the song, Send the Rain, if any of you have ever, ever heard of that song. And so we're looking forward to them. We'll be getting some flyers and things together for uh, that particular time. Is there any other announcements, anything I've forgotten? Yes, ma'am. Amen. Okay, this Friday we're going to meet here. Okay. All right. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 And uh, I know we got a lot going on here. Uh, Saturday, Saturday, July the twenty third, um, we'll be meeting here. Uh, Ms. Sandra, at 5.30 to go uh, to, go to the uh, homeless ministry, so it's coming up. Uh, and if you want, you can see the sign-up sheet in the vestibule for items that you can bring. Uh, so, any other announcements? Ms. Sandra. Yeah, in all fairness, that's my fault that she's running this late. So, yeah, Amen. Praise the Lord. We'll help one another. Did I, Brother Daryl? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's true. Right. That's right. Amen. Praise Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Brother Caden.
Yes, amen, absolutely. Brother Harold. Yes. Sunday night as we were finishing up the fire in Southern Virginia, the Lord and the Holy Spirit was moving so real. We had many, many souls saved that night after the 41 souls saved that night. Wow. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. 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 Wow. Amen, Brother Darrell. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, we do. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, we need to continue to lift up Brother uh, Harold. I don't know if you put two and two together. He was in Salem, Virginia. Anybody know about Salem from history book? Your history? The Salem witches. And he faced that. And there is demonic activity going on, but nothing, absolutely nothing can stand against the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. All power and principality was defeated on Calvary. Praise the Lord. Amen. Any others? Any others? Uh, Miss Wanda. Yes, I, I will. Uh, you could probably tell it better, but I'll try. Um, Miss Wanda had called me yesterday uh, wanting to put up um, a cross in the room back there. And uh, it stems back from times, uh, former times in church when she was a little girl. And they would have a cross outside and people would take a rock and the rock would represent a burden. And they would carry the burden and leave it at the cross. And um, I think at one particular time she was telling me that she was going to ask the children as she is teaching a lesson to hold the rock. And uh, allow the rock to be cumbersome. Allow the rock to become heavy. And, uh, and then uh, telling the children that there's a place to leave your burden and teaching the children. Isn't that wonderful? Right off the bat that we're telling our children, our young people, that's the place to carry burdens. And um, so, uh, Miss Wanda is inviting um, our, our whole church family. Um, if you have a burden uh, and you want to, there's no power in a rock. There's no power in a, a, a wooden beam. 
but what it represents. If you have something that's burdening you in your heart, find you a stone and take that stone and lay it at the cross. Lay it at the foot of the cross. And one thing about that is, is when you lay it down, you got to leave it. You leave it there. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Wanda, for that. Praise the Lord. Elizabeth? Yes, we're going to have a prayer line right after the worship, uh, worship uh, song here. David's going to lead us here. And um, if anybody uh, wants to be prayed for, prayer for the sick, whatever the case, we're going to gather up here right after Brother David opens. Amen. Amen. Ain't it good to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Listen to all this good news that God has given us this morning. Aren't you excited? Excited about the souls getting saved. If you will, stand with me, uh, page 333. And we're going to trust the Lord to allow us to sing this song today. <laughs> so excited to be in the house of the Lord. What a fellowship, what a joy divine. Leaning on the everlasting arms What a blessedness, what a peace is mine Leaning on the everlasting arms Leaning, leaning Safe and secure from all along Leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting on. Let's pick up the tempo just a little bit. Right? If talk in this pilgrim way, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, how bright the path grows from day to day. Leaning on the everlasting arms, leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all along, leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. What have I to what have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arms, I have blessed peace with my Lord so near. Leaning on the everlasting, sing it like you mean it, church. Leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all Everlasting arms. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you leaning on him this morning? Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you would like prayer this morning, I will ask you to, to come and let's gather down the front if you want to be anointed. If you have a need in your life, you have a need that the Lord has put on your mind, on your heart. Maybe it's an individual, maybe it's a child, maybe it's something personal. There is help from the person and work of the Holy Spirit based on Christ's great victory on Calvary. There's no power in a bottle of oil in a preacher's hand. There's no power whatsoever. But there is power, church. I want us to know there is power, there is mercy, there is grace. There is healing. There are gifts that are to be, get, to be given. Whatever that it is that you need, God said, I am that I am. He told Moses, I am that I am. Moses said, who shall I say that sent me? And God said, you tell them that I am that I am sent me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's serve. I'm gonna, let's pray for Jessica and Marcus Holmes. Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, we pray. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray that your mercy and your grace, Lord, would be made manifest in this time. Lord, you know the need that she has. Lord, you know the need that this young man has. Lord God, I pray, Lord, that you would drive back, Lord, the results, Lord, and the, the aftermath, Lord, of things, Lord, and would drive back Satan, Lord. Lord, we rebuke Satan, Lord, in our children and in our young people. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' precious name, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, I pray for hope this morning. I pray, Lord, that whatever it is, Lord, that she needs, whatever it is that's bothering her, Lord, whatever it is that's tormenting her, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray. I pray, Lord, that she will understand that she must submit herself to you, that she must surrender her life to you, and you will make her, Lord, into the person and into the beautiful, beautiful flower, Lord, that you've intended her to be. Lord, we drive back the enemy. We drive back the lies. Lord, we drive back these things that will torment her in Jesus' name. Satan, we bind you, Lord. We do not want you, Lord. We want you, Lord, to, to bind this spirit, Lord, that, that is bothering her and these things that torment her in Jesus' name. In the precious, precious blood. And wherever the blood flows, Lord, that's where the river flows, Lord. And Lord, we claim these things in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray, Lord, for Katie. Lord, in her situation, Lord, with her family and her son, Lord, and you know what she needs, Lord, with her grandchildren, Lord, and the things, Lord, the desires of her heart. Oh, God, Lord, let the sweet Holy Spirit have his way in this. Lord, may the river flow. Lord, may you send down, Lord, the rain that would give her comfort. Give her the peace, Lord, that passes understanding. Lord, we know what you have done and what you have accomplished on Calvary. Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I pray for my dear sister here this morning, Lord. Lord, I pray, Lord, whatever it is, Lord, that she's seeking, Lord, and whatever she needs in her life, Lord, we're coming to you. We're coming to Calvary, Lord. We're coming to the cross, Lord. And we're seeing, Lord, that your finished work provided for her, Lord, everything that she'll need. Lord, if she's going through a, a time of oppression, Lord, a time of discouragement, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will show her and give her a vision of Mount Calvary when you said it is finished, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace. Lord, let her see resurrection power. Let her understand, Lord, that you died for her, Lord. And if you, she had been the only one in the world, Lord, you would have still went to the cross, Lord, to deal with the world, the flesh, and the devil. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would comfort her in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I pray for Larry. Pray. Yes, Lord, we pray, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, for Larry's friend, Lord, Martha. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would send the Spirit of God, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, that your mercy, Lord, would flow, that the river would flow, Lord, that can only come from you. Lord, we are not anything, Lord, in our own power, our stance, Lord, but, Lord, we go by the authority of the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Name, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, Lord. Bless her, Lord. Heal her, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Boys, you know this is nothing, nothing magic in here, but the Lord died on Calvary that the Holy Spirit could work on your behalf for your Father. And that's what this represents. And you agree with me that the Lord will deal with your dad and your, the Lord will reveal to your dad his purpose in his ministry and his purpose uh, in, in your life. It's two different ones, yes. For each one, we're praying for them. And I'm going to tell you something. 
God hears the hearts of a child. Don't think he don't hear. He probably hears you more than anybody here. Praise the Lord in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for these two young men that stand in, Lord, in the gap for their dad. Lord, I pray, Lord, for these young men, Lord, that you would first of all strengthen them. And Lord, give them, Lord, what they need in their life, Lord, to stand strong, Lord, in their discouragements. And Lord, even in things, Lord, that they don't understand. Lord God, I pray, Lord, that you would reveal to them, Lord, the work, Lord, that you have for them in their life. And Lord, I pray, Lord, for these dads, these dads that are walking afar off, Lord. And Lord, maybe something's happened, Lord, in the in the life, Lord, that has discouraged these dads. And maybe they've been hurt by religion. Maybe they've been hurt by religious people. Lord, I pray, Lord, that they would see the blessed hope, the blessed hope and the blessed sunshine of the resurrected Lord. Lord, I pray that you would go to their hearts and their spirits right now, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we believe this, Lord, that you died for them. Lord, we believe, Lord, that you rose again for them. Lord, and they know, Lord, in their hearts that they need to come back to you. Lord, we again, Lord, bless these boys. Bless them, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Give them strength in the day that they live. Let them know that you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let them realize that you're not a God of the olden days. You are the God of the nowadays. Lord, we love you and we thank you. And we're believing in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Anyone else? Anyone else? Yes, sir. Yes, sister. My daughter and my husband and myself. Yes. Let's believe for it this morning. You believe? I do. I do too. I believe the Lord's going to move on your behalf and your family. Ah, he knows you love him. He knows that. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, there's no power in my hand, no power in my flesh, but Lord, you told us that all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. And Lord, we're taking this oil, Lord, and this point, Lord, of contact, Lord, in faith and believing, Lord, for this family. Bless her heart. Bless her children. Bless her spouse, Lord. Bless the things, Lord, that need to be blessed, Lord. We rebuke the enemy, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, give our sister, Lord, a sense of faith, Lord, and a sense of encouragement, Lord, in her life. Lord, bring healing, Lord, to her heart. Bring healing, Lord, to her heart, Lord, that she would be able to look up and say, my Lord, my Lord, my God, he is able. My God is able. My God is able. My God is able. Lord, we love you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. And we pray these things in Jesus' precious name. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Anyone else? Anyone else need prayer? Anyone else? Praise the Lord. They know where their help comes from, brother. That's right. Praise the Lord. The, the Lord loves these children. What you want? You want to pray for your dad? Let's pray for him. Let's pray for him. Church, she wants to pray for her dad. Let's pr let's pray with her for her dad. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, this dear child, Lord, comes before you in believing. Lord, you said, Lord, that these signs, Lord, will follow them that believe. Lord, I pray, Lord, that the Holy Spirit of God will go to this young lady's father right now, Lord, and he will begin, Lord, to feel a sense, Lord, and a tug from the Holy Spirit pulling him back to Jesus. Lord, I pray, Lord, for these girls, Lord, that love their dad so much. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would take them, Lord, and you would use them in your service. Lord, give them strength. Lord, give them, Lord, the power, Lord, and the understanding that they need. 
Lord, I pray, Lord, for that father. I pray for all of these fathers, Lord, that have gone astray. And Lord, they're looking at the world, Lord, and they're looking at the wisdom of men to explain things to them. Lord, I pray, Lord, that they will be susceptible and they will make their hearts, Lord, susceptible to the person and work of the Holy Spirit. Lord, use us, Lord. Use us, Lord, this morning to break the chains that bind. Loose them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, break the chains, Lord. Strip the chains, Lord, that are binding our youth, Lord, that are binding, Lord, our parents and binding, Lord, our guardians, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask, Lord, based upon, Lord, what you've done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, allow your spirit, Lord, to fall like rain, Lord. Allow, Lord, the former, Lord, you allowed it, Lord, but we're asking for the latter. In Jesus' name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise your holy name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Now, now, I'm here, brother. I'm here, brother Reuben. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now let's believe that the Lord has done what we ask Him to do. And I know that there's many more, but the Lord, He knows. He knows your heart. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Sister Amber, would you come on and sing for us? we want we want to go on in our worship now just because the prayer line is 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 done don't mean god's done uh, if whatever it is that you need from the lord you just keep asking and keep believing and he's going to do a great and mighty mighty work amen there's amen sally amen here we go praise the lord Praise the Lord. Let me see here. George, let me grab this other one right quick. It's the mic. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let this song bless your heart. Count on one thing The same God that never fails Will not fail me now Yes You won't fail me now In the waiting 
The same God who's never late is working all things out. You're working all things out. Yes, I will lift you high in the lowest valley. Yes, I will bless your name. That's great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Praise God. I prayed for years and everything for God to help me learn these songs by heart so I didn't have to depend on my words. But he, he said, my grace is sufficient. 
He keeps me dependent on him. He knows me. He knows I might get proud or I might get to going up here acting like somebody crazy. But I love him so much, and I just praise him. And We've already had church, y'all. Oh, God, we've already had church. You know, for years, I knew I never used a book. I always knew the words, and now I forget them. No. I've just been singing a song of some my whole life and go blank. So, well, the thing about this, we go... Uh, y'all pray for us. We did. We ain't practiced. We ain't done nothing. We just gonna. Amen. We just gonna follow the Lord. Amen. Jesus. She don't have a CD. Oh, <laughs> it's here, y'all. Forgive me. Forgive me. I did not even. Uh, forgive me. I'm glad I looked Two. at you. <laughs> I'm glad you did too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lord God, get us two together. Yeah. <laughs> what was you thinking? <laughs> I don't, you seen me pull it right out. Don't move it over here. I was wondering what it was. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I've been having her put many on on, on a cloud. I did, I don't know which ones I got on there and which ones I hadn't. So, anyway, y'all bear with us. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I can't even see it. I couldn't read it if I wanted to. <laughs> oh Lord. One. Yeah. Two. Number two. There ain't no grave I'm gonna hold my body down There ain't no grave I'm gonna hold my body down When I hear that trumpet sound I'm gonna get up out of that grave Cause there ain't no grave Down here. Well, look way over yonder. What do you think I see? I see a band of angels and they're coming after me. There ain't no grave. Gonna hold my body down. There ain't no grave. Gonna hold my body down. Gable until you hear from me. Well, I'm going down to the river, bury my knees in the sand. Gonna holler high hosanna till I reach that promised land. There ain't no grave. Gonna hold my body down. There ain't no grave. Gonna hold my body down. You can lay this body down, but on that first resurrection morning, I'm coming up out of that ground. Well, meet me, meet me, Jesus. Meet me in the middle of the air. I'm going to rise to see my Lord. Going to say goodbye down here. There ain't no grave. Going to hold my body down.
him glory to his name. Praise his name. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's been good. It's been good. Praise the Lord. Amen. We need to take up our offering right quick. And uh, we'll give you a chance to shout and open your billfold. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for the sweet spirit. Lord, that we felt here today. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would continue, Lord, to be honored and to be glorified. Lord, thank you for allowing us, Lord, to uh, worship you, Lord, with the first fruits, Lord, of our labor, as you instruct us, Lord, to do. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would bless the giver, uh, bless those that have and those that do not have. Lord, you know all things. Lord, help us to be good stewards, Lord, of what you give to our hands. Lord, we love you and thank you in Jesus' name. All right, you may come give your gifts into the basket. <clears throat> Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand, I am tired, I am weak, I am worn, through the storm, through the night lead me on to the light take my hand precious Lord lead me home sing it with me when my way groweth drear precious Lord linger near when my life is almost gone Well, hear my cry, hear my call Hold my hand, lest I fall Take my hand, precious Lord Lead me home one more time well precious Lord take my hand lead me on let me stand I'm so tired I'm so weak yes I'm worn through the storm through the night Lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord. Lead me home. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. First Peter. If you have your Bibles this morning, turn with me to the book of 1 Peter. 1 Peter chapter number 1. 1 Peter chapter number 1, starting at verse number 1. With the help of the Lord, I want to speak to you on the subject of a few, for a few moments on a faith that cannot fail. A faith that cannot fail. Praise the Lord. I, I want a faith that Cannot fail. How about y'all? Praise the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Let's start in verse number one and read for just a few moments. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. And the word strangers there. Uh, carries the idea of saints of God that he had not met face to face as of that time. 
He goes on in his letter to them. He says, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you. Verse 5, notice what it says. Who are kept. By the power of God through faith unto salvation. Ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein we greatly rejoice. Now listen to this. Though now for a season. If need be. Ye are in heaviness. Through manifold temptations. Or multiple trials. Different tribulations in verse 7 Peter said that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth though it be tried with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ hallelujah he goes on to say whom speaking of the Lord having not seen ye love in whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy, unspeakable and full of glory. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Verse number 9, receiving the end of your, notice what it says, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you once again for your mercy and your grace. Lord, I understand, Lord, that if I attempt to stand here alone, Lord, nothing will happen, nothing will be done, hearts will not be changed. Lord, every word from my mouth will fall to the ground. But Lord, if you quicken it, if you quicken your word by the Holy Ghost of God, that it may penetrate the hearts and souls of the people. Lord, forgive me, Lord, of my fleshly ways. Forgive me of sin, Lord, that's in my life, in, in my heart, Lord, and, and evil thoughts that pass through my mind from time to time. Lord God, strip them out of my life right now and plant them in the blood of your precious sacrifice, Lord. And may we ever, may we ever understand, Lord, the sufficiency, Lord, that is found in the sacrifice that you give for us on Calvary. Hide us in the cross. In your precious name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Felt the Spirit of the Lord even with the reading of the Word this morning. Praise God. As our children uh, are being dismissed this morning for Children's Church, and, and I understand it's 12 o'clock, uh, but I think what we're going to have to do, and most of us are used to it by now, but if you worship God for an hour or so, and you, 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 we can't shut it down just because it's 12. We've got to have the Word of God because the Word of God uh, will stand when the world's on fire. Amen. But I will uh, make notice of the time and make uh, understand that with the help of the Lord. I was listening uh, to a Bible study uh, this past week uh, from a dear brother that I love down in Queensland, Texas at Crossway Church, uh, a brother by the name of Curtis Hutchison. And uh, if you want some good Bible teaching on the message of the cross, I highly recommend him, uh, and he has a son named Andrew, uh, and we correspond, and uh, I heard him make a statement this past week that really, really caught my attention, and this, these were the statements that he made. He said, true faith cannot fail. I don't know about y'all. But when he said that, there was something in my mind and some, maybe in my spirit that says, mm, because 
My faith fails all the time. Then he said, true faith can never fail. And I said, wow. And then he brought my attention to Romans chapter 12, verse 3. And let me read it. I'm trying to set the groundwork for the sermon today. Romans chapter 12, verse 3 It says, for I say, through the grace given unto me. Now this is the Apostle Paul speaking in the first, uh, in the latter part of the book of Romans. He said, for I say, through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according, notice this here, here, according as God has dealt unto every man the measure of faith. See if I can make it plain. When you and I, Brother Sid, first heard the Word of God, way back, whenever, wherever, however, you and I first heard the Word of God. The Bible says, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So at the point of the gospel, at the point that you and I heard the gospel, the glorious gospel, the word of God, at that particular time, the God of mercy and grace, Brother Jeff started dealing faith. Everyone that hears the word of God, God gives the opportunity To believe. To believe the gospel. And not only to believe the gospel for eternal life, but to believe the gospel for everyday life. Now the word of God says here that every man has been dealt a measure of faith. Now, what you and I choose to do with it is a whole different matter but the faith that God has given me will never fail the faith that God has so graciously given me because he said for without faith it is impossible to please him so God has already laid out the groundwork brother said that we are to operate and live by the faith It's not the faith that Jeff musters up. The faith that Jeff musters up is always, sister, going to fail. But the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ, in other words, His way, His way, His gospel, His way to, to live in our lives and do for us in our lives, it can never fail. That's why the scripture says that in the Old Testament that Abraham believed God. And it was accounted unto him as righteousness. Just because I refuse the faith does not negate the faith. Just because I I have a spirit of unbelief does not negate God's plan. God gives us all. Now notice, notice else and say, now I don't know about that now. Now notice Romans chapter 1, verse 16, the apostle in the first part, Paul said, for I am not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Listen to what he says in verse 17, for therein is the righteousness of God. Listen to what he says, revealed From faith to faith. What does that mean? That means faith given from faith to faith received. See, that's how you get born again. 
That's how you come to the Lord Jesus Christ. He's already laid it out. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him, He's already laid it out. That's why, that's why we are to hold fast to the faith. And the Lord allowed me to see that through, and I have to give credit where credit's due, Brother Curtis. You know, the, 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 the plan of salvation and the plan of deliverance in the, this is, y'all, this is what God considers the faith. This is the faith. And it is up to us to accept the faith. And the Bible, and you know, I always, I said, Lord, I said, what you have done and what you have provided for me is that I can access, it's your plan. In other words, it's not faith on my part. It started with him. Listen to this. Listen to this. I'll try to hurry up. Listen to this. Hebrews chapter 12. I didn't know I was going to do this. Listen, listen to what he says. He says, Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run the race with patience, the race that is set before us. Now here's what I want you to hear, verse 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author... He is the author, author, and he that hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. He is the author, glory to God, he's not only the author, he's the finisher of my faith. Even though now, as Peter wrote, if Need be, you are in manifold testing. Even though it be tried, it be tried as gold in the fire. I want to tell, tell you my heart. I want to keep. I want to keep. I want to keep it. I want to keep us on a even kill of what, a, what the Lord is dealing with me concerning this prayer line. The devil wants to settle in a spirit of unbelief. It's a spirit. It's a spirit of unbelief. And a spirit of unbelief is not of God. Now, you say, what are you doing? What are you saying, preacher? No, I'm saying the devil wants me to swallow that. You know what the Lord spoke to me? I said, Lord, I, I said, I, I said, Lord, you, you know our heart at the spirit of life. We're not trying to, we're not trying to drum up nothing. We're not trying to, we're not trying to make us into something as some would believe and some would 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 hold they're trying to do this they're tr- you know and those those spirit those those old evil spirits come my way and I say God I said we're not trying to do that we're just trying to follow you you know what he said he said you keep doing what you're doing and I'm gonna turn on the rain he said, keep doing what you're doing. He said, this spirit, this spirit of unbelief, it'll have to go. It'll have to go out the door. It'll have to go. And he has already made it from the foundation of the world. He's already paid for it. Shame on us. Shame on us, church. Some of us. Shame on us for saying, because we call a prayer line up and we lay hands on someone's head. Shame on us saying, that's that's that Pentecostal. Shame on us. 
That's a spirit of unbelief. And God says, just keep doing. Just keep doing what you're doing. He says, I'm looking for a people that will come to me. With the heart of a child. Them two boys. You see, they ain't been soured by church folk. They ain't been soured by religious people. All they want is stepping up, I want prayer for my daddy. And I'll guarantee the God of the ages heard your cries my brothers he heard your cries and if you and I come before him with supplication and pouring our heart out before God for what he did on Calvary he'll hear our cries he'll hear it he'll hear it and I began to I began thinking about that and this this you know Joshua Joshua had to believe God before he crossed Jordan. Jonah. Jonah said, salvation is of the Lord. That's what Jonah said. The whole faith concept, when the Holy Spirit drew me to the cross through His Word, He said, here is how you become born again. He dealt to me a measure of faith. And I said to myself, could it really be? You see, see to the world this is foolish. This is stupid. This is stupid to the world. But see, by God's grace and mercy, He put it down in my spirit. He said, He said, I am the Lamb slain before the foundation of the world. I have given my life as a ransom for you. And if you will believe on me, if you will believe on me, I will take your sin debt and I will absorb it in myself, in my life, my death, and your hallelujah. And you and you have the you have the the choice. See it, it we 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 want to make it all us. And God is showing me, and God wants to show Spirit of Life Church, your faith is based on a faith system that God has put in place. It is your choice or my choice to receive Amen. what God has already done. No matter what the situation is, whether it's healing, whether it's to move in an area of, of, of a mental issue, preacher, I just can't. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. But God says, whosoever believeth, that's all you got to do is believe in the plan. I, I, and I'm trying to grasp it. I'm trying to grasp it. But, but the faith, the system of faith that God put in place through His Son, it can't fail. I can fail. I can fail to pull it to myself, Sister Doris, but what He done can never fail. He can never fail. It will not ever fail you. Nor will He fail us. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The basis of faith. The only thing, only thing I've done, and I'm going to close, I... I'll, we'll, we'll have a time of invitation. I'm on out of time. But I remember way back then, Brother Sid, that time when God saved me. And I, that, that, little, that little hope rose up in my, in my spirit that my sins could be forgiven. 
And that, my, that, that everything that I had ever done or will do would be covered under his blood. And then that hope sprang up in me. Some of, some of us this morning, some of us this morning, I know that the scriptures, Peter says, Peter said that, that if, 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 if need be, even though now we, we have manifold, manifold, multiple, multiple different kinds of situations, notice what he says. He says, Wherefore ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness. Through manifold temptations. Let the trial of your faith. Folks, we've got to get this. The trial of your faith is not so much your faith. It is the faith that he has given you. You get it? If, it, if, if, if my faith is tried, my faith is tried, if my faith is tried, I mean to the max, it'll fail. But when I place my faith in the faith, the Holy Spirit begins working. It begins working. In my behalf. That the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold. That perishes though it be tried with fire. Might be found unto praise and honor and glory. At the appearing of Jesus Christ. I'm about done. I promise. Verse 8 says. Whom having not seen. Ye love. We got a reason to love him this morning. Amen. We've got a reason to love him. My Lord, you've been good. Amen. You've been good. You've been so good. You've been so good to us. Even though I've not seen you in the flesh. And I say the words of Job. Though the skin worms eat my flesh, I know that with my eyes, my Redeemer lives. And I will see you. Not because of my strength, not because of what I can do, but because of your love and because of your mercy. Praise the Lord. Though now you see him not, yet believe him. You rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Now notice verse 9. Maybe it will come into view. Receiving the end of your faith. That day that we see him, our faith will be made sight. Church, I... I know that we all struggle. I know that we all struggle, but Christ, God has put everything in His Son. He's put everything there. Everything is to be dealt with by faith in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the faith. That's the faith spoken of in 1 John. The faith. Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. I would ask you if you would to stand. <clears throat> God has God has dealt some here this morning a measure of faith. God has shown you. The reality of sin. God has shown you the reality of the world. God has shown you the reality even of Satan. 
But if God shows you the reality of these things, then it demands a response. It demands a response. If something is made a reality to me, then I must respond to that reality. And see, even this is a measure of faith that the Lord is giving you right now. He's giving you an opportunity to believe. He's giving you an opportunity. And there's something in your spirit. There's something in your spirit. It may not be saying anything. But there's something in your spirit that is feeling right. It is feeling like it's truth. It is bearing witness to your spirit. That is a measure of faith. that God is trying to hand you. The greatest, the greatest move in your life is to act on that faith. To act on it. Say, God, I'm going to match your faith with my faith. I'm going to step out. I'm going to believe on you. I'm going to take what you have done and pull it to my bosom. And I'm going to live for you because you are the Christ. If that's you this morning, I want to give you an opportunity to come to this altar. See, the faith that he's dealt, when you take that step, that's the faith to faith maybe you've, maybe you've never accepted the Lord maybe you just have someone you want to pray for some of you ladies come pray with hope come pray with her Wow, how the Lord has moved today. Something how the Lord has moved. You take the first step. Really and truly, you take the second step. He's already made a step toward you. That's the way it works. We think we're supposed to take the step. He's already took the step. Praise God. And church, I, I want to say this while this one's praying. Church, this works for all areas in life, not just to get saved. This is not, it's, God has given you a measure of faith to believe for your situation, that manifold temptation, that manifold trial that is being tried, that furnace that you're going through right now, God has already given you a measure of faith. Go ahead and act on it. Go ahead and pull it to your bosom and say, Lord, I believe your word is true. I believe you died for my, my son, my daughter, my aunt, my uncle, my, my family. I believe you died for them. Praise God. This is the true gospel. This is the true gospel. It's all of Him and none of us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Be patient while these are praying. You be praying in your seat, praying for God to move. You don't have to come down here unless you want to. You can do business right there where you are with God. It's not the faith that I can muster up. It's believing in the faith that He has given. The faith that's already there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. 
Thank you for your grace. Thank you for healing. Lord, there's some that are seeking the baptism in the Holy Spirit. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that they would step out in the same faith. It's a faith that you've already give. They can act on it. They can act on it. And they can receive. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's give the Lord a good hand this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Brother Harold, would you dismiss us this morning in prayer?